When developing a game, a crucial component that is needed but often overlooked is the ability to save data on your player's device. This could be something as simple as saving a high score or whether or not the player would like to mute the game's music. Maybe you'd even like to store their first name so that you can use it in your storyline. In this video, I will show you how to save player data using Unity's built-in component, Player Preps. In order to save data locally to a player's device, it can be easily stored in three ways using player prefs. Player prefs accepts three formats, float, integer, and string. To store a value, you would simply write player prefs dot set, and then you would enter your format. Let's just use int for this example. In the first parameter, you'd put a reference key like high score, and then in the second parameter, you would put your integer value. Then to grab your save value, you just do playerpress.getInt, and then in parentheses, you would put high score. It's really that simple. Lastly, if you want to delete a value, just do playerpress.delete key and insert your reference key in the parentheses. There you have it. You just learned how to save data for your game. Now let's look at an example in Unity. In this scene, I have set up a UI text box to enter your name and a UI button to save it. Right now you can enter your name, but if you press save, nothing happens. So let's create a script that will save the text in the text box to a player prep string. Let's go ahead and create a script that we can assign to our button. Let's just label this save name. Then up at the top, let's include unityengine.ui so that we can grab the text from our text box. Then let's create a public reference for input field and let's label this text box. We will use this to grab the text from the text field. Then let's create a function for when our button is pressed. Let's just label this click save button. Then let's assign a string to player prefs by doing player prefs dot set string. Let's set our reference to name and for our value, value let's do text box dot text. Then let's output to our console by doing debug dot log and writing your name is and let's grab our player prefs value by using player prefs dot get string and let's use our name reference. Now if we save and go back to Unity, let's drag our new script onto our camera. Then let's drag our input field into our text box inspector so our script knows which input field to grab our text from. Then on our button, let's assign our onClick object to our main camera where our script is currently being held on. And then for our function, let's find our click save button function that we just created. This will execute our click save button function anytime the button is pressed. Now if we press play and enter our name and then press save, we should see that our name is displayed in our console. So if I open up the second scene and press play, it doesn't display my name. And that's because I didn't program it to do that yet. Instead, let's create a quick script that will modify this text field to display my player prefs name. Just like my last script, let's create a quick reference for our text field and let's call it name box. Then in our start function, let's assign the name box dot text to equal our play prefs dot get string. And let's use our name reference key. Then if we drag our text box into the inspector and press play, we should now see our text box update to our saved string value. On the bottom of the screen, you might've noticed that we have a reset button. 
Currently, if we click on it, nothing happens. So let's go back into our script and create a function for it. What I want to do is create a function so that when the reset button is pressed, it deletes the player press value and then returns me back to the first scene. To do this, we must include unity engine management. Then let's create another function, except this time let's label it reset save game. Inside the function, let's use player prefs dot delete key, and then let's include our reference key, which is going to be name. Then underneath, let's write scene manager dot load scene, and let's put sample scene, which is the name of our first scene. This function will delete our save data and load the first scene. Again, let's assign the onClick function to our new reset saved game function. So now when we press play, we should see our name displayed, but when we first press reset, it should take us back to the first scene. If we go back to our second scene and press play, we should see a blank value now in our text box. That's because we don't have anything assigned to that value. Now you should be equipped to write your own code to save what you need for your game.